Well, these two inspiring women have launched a new campaign to provide listening sessions in local public spaces, and it is now called I Hear You. So welcome to Lifestyle's life coach, Andrea Grace Phillips and Amy Lloyd. Good to see you both, girlfriends. Nice, good to see you. Thank you so much for having us. Since I've been a part of this event from the beginning, let's uh, share with the audience what galvanized you to move forward with this session. Well, really, I think it came from a Facebook post that we saw of another inspiring woman across yes. the country that was doing something similar. Uh, I forgot the name of that one already. Uh, Sidewalk Talks. Sidewalk, Sidewalk Talks, Talks yes. yes. And I just shared that post and said, I think this is a great idea. We should do it in Evansville. And immediately, multiple people chimed in, yourself included. And uh, that's how we got started. And just really in a matter of weeks, too that this has kind of gotten off the ground and so this weekend it launch or this week it launches Amy where are we gonna start we're starting at the Evansville farmers market so we will be set up with our tent and our chairs and we're gonna be ready to listen and talk with anyone that um, you know just wants to sit down for a couple minutes or maybe 15 minutes and chat um, you know loneliness is really on the rise it's epidemic it it's is. absolutely you know we're isolated in spite of technology which we discussed before we even came on here and um, we just want to make a dent in in a, maybe even just a small dent so people know that if they're experiencing some loneliness that maybe there's something we can do offer them resources um, we're not here to represent any one particular religion or pol political ideology or anything like that. We're just here to serve. Just to be present yeah. there. So what do you anticipate, since we haven't done this yet, what do you anticipate the experience will be like for people walking up to see us there with our chair, uh, with our empty chair in front of us? Well, it's our hope that they will feel um, like we are engaging, that we are compassionate community members ready to connect with them on whatever level they need to connect. Uh, again, whether it's a few minutes or a long time, whether they have something serious to talk about or something simple and they just need a friend to listen. We aren't therapists. We aren't paid. We're just community members and neighbors that want to uh, hear whatever they have to share with us. And besides the downtown farmers market on Friday, which is from nine to noon, we're yeah. going to be there. Mm -hmm. There will be at the Franklin, the Franklin Street. Street Bazaar also on Saturday mornings from nine to noon, and possible other venues throughout Evansville and kind of the extended area. Um, we want to be able to bring this to anybody that may be interested. Well, there are also, as you can see when you watch Lifestyles, there's a, a park event, there's an outdoor event. So th this, I think, could work into about anything. I really think it can. It doesn't take anything but a couple of listening ears and a couple of chairs and um, we'll be ready to go. So I, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to connect with our community members and we're really looking forward to it. We are planning on about a six week um, stint. The project will last Friday and Saturday mornings from now until mid-September and then we'll see where we go with it from there. If folks are watching today and they well, I would like to be a listener or I'd like to be heard, but if they'd like to be a listener, how can they reach out to our team and join us because it's, it's open. Absolutely. Uh, they can contact either myself or Amy via Facebook. They could reach out to you as well. Um, and we've got an event that has been shared, so they can look for that event, the I Hear You event in Evansville. And since E is for everyone, we want everyone to be heard. Well, it's so important, as Amy alluded to earlier, is this sense of alienation. Even though we've all got these things in front right. of us, we're still, we're still disconnected. Absolutely. We are. It's sad, really. It's the illusion of connection with the technology. Unfortunately, we feel like we're more connected, but it, studies have shown that we're actually far less connected. And it's safer and more isolating to utilize technology rather than just have face-to-face -face communications. You know, when I was younger, my mom didn't work outside the home, and she got together with the neighbor ladies often and had coffee, and, and they shared, you know, things that were going on in their lives. And I feel like we just don't have as much of an opportunity to do that in our fast-paced world now. Well, there's nothing like that one-on-one, -on -one, somebody seeing mm -hmm. you and making eye contact with you and Absolutely. being there with you. So this is your opportunity. If you need to be heard or you have some joy you want to share, come see us all. Yes. Now, I won't be there Friday, but you ladies will be at the Farmer's Market. Yes. Well. Our team will be there. And and I'll see you at the uh, Franklin Street Bazaar on Saturday with more. So wonderful. Uh, it's going to be fun. Thank it's you. It's going to be wonderful. Interesting. Thank we, you so much. We can say, I hear you. Yes. <laughs> and then you can say, I've, we, I've been heard. Yes, that's right. We're here to hear you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Sure. We'll be back with more Lifestyles Right. After.